back. I'm here at BVE 2013 and I'm with Richard Moss from Gorilla Post. Hello. Great to have you here. Thank you. Fantastic um, reception to your set, your demonstration. It went down very, very well. Good. What's your relationship with Avid? How long have you been um, using Avid platforms? And well, since the very start, really, um, we set up a company 25 years ago, I think, and we actually tested the first Avid and Lightworks. Funnily enough, we went with Lightworks very quickly to be followed by Avid for the rest of the time. So it was that long ago, really, the first Avid. Uh, we grew from that one single Avid to about 80-odd that we're using now, total Avid workflow. We've grown up through all the media um, stages, from the SCSI drives through to the first Unities and ISIS. I never look back, really. So 25 years of Gorilla Post pretty much ties in very nicely with 25 years of Avid. Yes, well, it's been, um, it's been a few companies um, that we've started. Gorilla is now the rebrand of the company it was before, as we've changed and our, our philosophy and our markets have changed. But we've pretty much been running that long and um, been with Avid from the very start. Well, that's, that's fantastic news. So 25 years of Avid, 25 years uh, working in with Avid in the industry. What is, what is the, where do you see it going? What, what's the next five years hold, do you think? Well, I think the storage is everything, really, and we've really embraced that. We run so many projects that are multiple systems, uh, 16, 18 uh, suites working on the same job. So I think, obviously, the cloud, dare you say that word, but um, uh, it's, it's, it's all about that, and media asset management. That's the other thing. Um, File-based workflows now, we're just going to want to get that material back in five years' time, and we need to know where it is and how to retrieve it. I think that's what uh, what the future holds, really. So you see the cloud is definitely the way forward, things like Sphere, and InSpace Sphere, and InSpace Central. Yeah, remote editing. Um, I think there's there'll be a hybrid cloud. There will be a cloud for producers, a cloud for editors. I think uh, we're not about to instantly jump into everybody work from home. Um, because you need creatives together. I think having a, a local cloud and an external cloud is, um, uh, is the way to go, and I think Avid will want to do that as well for, for its own marketing, but certainly cloud services and the ability to remotely uh, edit or work in some way with the material, is, it's gotta be the future. Well, thanks very much for a fantastic presentation. Thanks for joining us, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.